Care their children to go back to school. Safety is a major concern, which may now include adding to the list of school supplies a ballistic book bag or ballistic plate placed inside a backpack. Is it horrible the fact that we have to offer this? Absolutely. But it's a fact that we do. I was a retired Texas police officer who's now a spokesperson for a company producing book bags capable of stopping bullets, handguns, and rifles. News for Jack's reporter Eric Abadie joining us live to explain all this. Eric? Yes, well, after the tragic events in Uvalde, Texas last spring, where a gunman killed 21 people inside an elementary school, Burner Technologies has received lots of inquiries and orders for its ballistic backpacks and insertable shields. And after seeing what those products can do, it's easy to understand why there is a demand for those items. Book bags are always on the list of school supplies at the start of a new school year. But given the recent number of mass shootings inside schools across the U.S., ballistic book bags or book bags that can stop a bullet have become very popular. Joshua Sherrard is a former Texas police officer who now trains law enforcement and private security while also representing Burner Technologies, we'll the, the company that makes this ballistic shield that can go into any kid's backpack. So it's super thin. Very lightweight, weighs, weighs less than a pound uh, for this particular configuration. It works great for the younger age kids because it can go in smaller backpacks. The shield he's holding has a level 3A ballistic rating, which means it can stop bullets from every handgun caliber up to a 44 Magnum. As seen in this video where Sherrard shoots three different guns at a backpack containing a single shield inside. Inside the shield are engineered flexible fibers that are layered on top of each other, similar to Kevlar. We can see that our 44 Magnum round is sitting right here in the middle of the vest itself. There is also a thicker shield that is rated to stop bullets fired from an AR-15 rifle. There are also backpacks that can transform into an actual ballistic vest. That provides you with both ballistic panels, so you know bullet-resistant panels on both the front and the rear, uh, and can be deployed in less than a second with a single hand. We asked parents both in person and online how they felt about the idea of sending their kid to school with a bullet stopping backpack. It's necessary. I don't think it's a bad idea, but it's a scary idea. I'm just going to homeschool. I just don't want to even deal with any of it. On our website, Laura wrote no. Ridiculous that this is what the USA has come to. Can we perhaps have some proper gun control and mental health care instead of Kevlar for our kids? But Chino wrote it's not a bad idea seeing how things are going with school shootings. A lot of people will either be laughing or be angry, but if your child gets saved by one of these, then go for it. Now, Sherrard said, quote, no matter how you look at it, at the end of the day, if we all have to be, we all have to be responsible for our own personal safety and the safety of our children. Now, if anyone is wondering about the cost of those uh, items, yeah, they can be quite costly. I could tell you the shields can range from anywhere from $140 up to $180. And depending upon the level of protection, those backpacks can start off in the $300 range and go all the way up to around $900. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, the local station.